Okay, you are live. I'll zoom this way, I'll say. Yeah, Here's the artist. Everybody's been so concerned. Oh, and the, and the Viva Las Vegas. Here's Elvis. Yeah, there's Elvis. And I'm up here with all this fishing wire. And there's no way this sucker's coming apart again. So this is a famous shield wall that has been falling down all week. And everybody has been so freaked out. You can even hear the angels singing down here. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. They're praying for it. They are. They're praying for it. I've got masses going for it. First, I'm going to take off all the excess tape that has been stuck up here and the hope of holding the thing together. Then I'm going to just do the very elegant solution I should have done at the beginning. And before you know it, this shield wall will be impenetrable. Would this camera tell you if there wasn't enough light? I don't think so. It hmm. just it probably makes up light. That's a fact. It looks fine. Do you have any questions to ask me, interview me. What was your inspiration for this piece? The inspiration for this piece was um, the same thing as the inspiration for uh, Carapace Coretta down there, which I hope you will also photograph because I don't have a decent picture of it. And um, it is the frailty of our defenses, and it was inspired by sea turtles, specifically at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center, because their carapace, their shell, um, which is their primary defense, has managed to help them to survive for 100 million years, and yet the activities of man in just a few generations have placed them on the endangered species list. Um, we hit them with boats, they, we feed them plastic balloons and bags and stuff they shouldn't be eating, we catch them in fishing nets, we injure them in various ways, our polluted waters um, cause all kinds of stuff to grow on their shells. So they're being wiped out slowly, systematically almost, by human activity. Overdevelopment gets them because they can't nest on beaches as they normally would because we're building up our coastal beaches. And uh, so that was the inspiration. This, the shield wall is a celebration of just how frail our defenses are and what it's about all the things that we have learned from childhood. I hope you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Learned from childhood and been taught and have picked up along the way natural defenses, defense mechanisms that have kind of grown out of us and that we require. And I invited a class of art students to add their ideas to this piece. And uh, earlier this week, I came in and um, added pieces like this. There are a lot of them in the lower things that they've written, things they've drawn. Their ideas about safety and security, about personal safety and security. And they've got quite a variety of ideas. Very interesting. And I think it's enriched the piece a lot because it's important to me for my pieces to speak not just for me but for other people. And um, in that sense I feel that it has. And the fact that so many people this week have been engaged in trying to figure out how to repair it every time it fell down. It's because it's frail. Yeah, because it's frail. It defenses are frail. It's defenses are frail. So, you know, this one's trying to fall down, but it can't fall any farther than that. So um, I'm hoping that it's not going to fall down again. <laughs> that will really be, that will be enough irony for me yes. for one piece. I'm not sure we need more irony. 